house are an important soft fruit grower for M&S and also one of the five indicator and innovation farms within the M&S Farming with Nature project. Clockhouse Farm Limited is a family-run business farming approximately 330 hectares to the south of Coxheath in Kent. They grow top quality strawberries, raspberries and blackberries as well as various top fruit. As a Leaf Mark certified farm, they are committed to continually identifying and adopting sustainable farming techniques that boost biodiversity and maximise ecosystem services. Integrated pest management is high on the agenda, along with water conservation, protecting the river belt triple SI and supporting biodiversity on the farm. The M&S Farming with Nature Indicator and Innovation Farm project is currently focusing in two areas. Firstly, the development of a whole farm management plan using land app. All non-farmed land, which amounts to approximately 30% of the farm, has been identified and plans put in place to maximise biodiversity potential. For example, small sunny banks at the end of hedgerows will be managed to encourage solitary bees, which are key pollinators for orchard fruit. The management plan has been developed with the help of FWAG South East, working in conjunction with South East Rivers Trust. Boosting crop beneficials is also a key part of this project, and the farm are working with NIAB and the GWCT on the Bespoke project to investigate ways of maximising pollination and natural pest control. It is the ambition of this project to develop practical ways of bringing wildflowers into polytunnels in order to boost invertebrate populations. In addition, elder and poplar windbreaks will gradually be replaced with natural hedges to further support invertebrate diversity and provide a network of overwintering host plants for many crop pest predators. NIAB scientists from East Morling Research Centre are using conventional techniques to monitor crop beneficials in strawberry and blackberry polytunnels relative to the wildflower resources in the immediate vicinity. At the same time, Ferrer are looking at using metabarcoding techniques to identify crop beneficials from DNA. The aim is to develop some quick and easy ways for growers to monitor their crop beneficials.